to make sure I have it for everyone. Uh, second, I'm gonna basically go through the PowerPoint that I would have given at, um, at the high school, hit the key parts of that. That mostly deals with safety and passports. Then we'll talk about the fundraiser, uh, talk more about passports, and then I'll try to answer my best questions about COVID and different things like that. And we will go ahead and get started. Boom. Share. All right. Move that one down. Move this one up. Just hold on. All right, so welcome to our uh, our meeting. You know, I'll just kind of keep clicking through the slides. Uh, as I said earlier, we got travel details, safety and our EF partnership, additional supports, and then some reminders and to-dos. Uh, one thing that I wanna highlight, if you guys have any questions as we're going, add them to the uh, chat room that should be at the bottom of a lot of your guys' screens, and we can keep going from there, add in different details to it, all of those things. All right, so our calendar as of now, and with COVID, we just have to be super, super patient and super flexible, is for us to leave Friday, March 12th, and come back Monday, March 22nd. I asked EF, I was like, I point blank asked him, I was like, hey, when will I find out about this? And their answer to me was, we're going to go with basically what that the trip is on. And I was like, what's the time frame? And they, I could see them crossing their fingers saying, hopefully two months before that they would be able to tell us if we're going in for spring break or not. Uh, and, I, and I apologize for that. I wish I could control it and make it change, but it's something out of my hand. Uh, in the agenda that I sent out to everybody in email, our backup date is June 1st, so it's after graduation, and hopefully that will work out. If not, email me and we'll, and we'll deal with it as we go. Uh, but that is our tour dates and, and that, we, that we will have this year. Um, once again, kind of why I like doing EF is it is I have a dedicated personal uh, director that handles every issue that we could possibly have up. Um, they, they've already had this, but like they've now beefed it up. They have safety and incidents response teams. Uh, if you look at the third bullet, the one that I like the most as far as thinking about our safety and exposure is a different thing, is we're gonna have our own personal tour coach. So it's not, uh, we won't have to be taking mass transit anywhere. You know, when we go from one place to another, it'll be us. Um, and, and, I, and I like that a lot. Uh, the chaperones that are gonna be on the trip, as, as usual, it's myself. It's gonna be my wife, Mrs. Pittman, who's been on, I, I think this is her fourth or fifth trip with me. And then uh, also we have a new chaperone this year, Abby Gomez. One of the big things I want you guys to think about and make sure you like transmit this to your uh, children is the school policies follow us, right? We are on a school board sanctioned trip and we, we, we gotta follow exactly what, what those policies are for it. Um, the other thing, the more like practical application is I am your mom. I'm your dad. I, I, I am like everything. And then like Mrs. Pittman and Mrs. Gomez are like the ants that live with us, you know, and it's, there's just constantly, not every little situation, but I'm like, Hey, we got to move here now. You're like, you got it, mom. I'm going off and doing it right away. Um, Something that EF has uh, highlighted and kind of wants to make sure every person who's taken a group out uh, states is that they have 
a COVID response. Um, if you guys have the PowerPoint up now, if you want to look at it later, take a moment and look at the EF COVID response link that I have in the bottom left. Uh, I took a look at it yesterday and basically no cost to us if anybody catches it and it's not, that's not gonna happen, but if it does, um, the hospitalizations taken care of, the travel back to United States, uh, if, if we're in Greece and there's, in, and there's need of a translator, like every little thing is taken care of. And so that's a good peace of mind for me to have. Um, this is a slide with a lot of different things on it. Uh, I'll give you guys time to look at it. I wanted to highlight uh, the things that, that I, I find to be the most important. The first one that I already mentioned is we have our own private coach. So that transportation aspect is taken care of. It's it like, I do not have to worry about that. And like, you know, being like everybody, you know, we got to clean this, we got to do this. Like the bus driver's taking care of that. The tour director's making sure we get picked up here and we go there. Uh, I've also liked in on the left-hand side, they've also adjusted some of the times when we will go to places. So we're not going at the height of like times uh, when there's many, there's as many other people there as could be. Um, I also like the idea of the hotels where they're partnering with places that practice good cleaning procedures. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, and then as I've always just, there's countless times a tour director has just headed off a catastrophe, not a catastrophe, headed off minor issues before they happened. And so somebody who is dedicated to us that's exactly what I need when we're taking a lot of kids uh, to different spots. Um, good, let's keep moving along. Traveling with confidence. Uh, these are some, uh, that COVID-19 peace of mind plan that they've mentioned before. Uh, the global travel protection, which is um, something that we've highlighted in at, when you guys were signed up worth definitely checking out. Uh, here are some of the like things that we got to think about. And if you're writing down notes, November 23rd is a key date. All right. Uh, the first thing, if you have a rooming request, you can tell me about it. Um, it's, it's not a guarantee. Uh, we'll stay, if I remember right, we'll have five different hotels or it's six different hotels that we'll stay in. Once the rooms kind of like get set, there is some like times where we'll go someplace else and it could be like an actual full cottage. So a group of four and another group of four, I might have to be like, all right, now we have to have a group of six and these two other people, I got to put you off in another group of six. So I'll try to manage it as best I can, but nothing is guaranteed. What I like about EF is we're constantly uh, full of activities. So it's not like students have four to five hours where they're hanging out in a room with somebody that they might not like. But you know what? If they just got to sleep in a bed by them, it's totally fine. The big one, and I'm going to put my cursor over it, is you got to make sure you log on to your EF account and submit your passport information. What that basically means is the full name, first, middle, last, that you are going to have on your passport is, is exactly what they have. For me, it's Robert Spencer Pittman. Uh, for some other students, it might be just a first name and a last name. But whatever is on the passport is exactly what needs to be for EF. Uh, think about it as we uh, go through customs. If there's something slightly off, that's when people get stopped and then we have to wait, everybody gets questioned. I did that once in Australia with my wife. I gave us both the same birth date and it became an issue every place we went to. If you have any special travel requests, get those into EF. Uh, you can send them through me and I can pass them along. If you've already contacted EF once or twice, feel free to do it. Uh, what could those things be? People have certain allergies, informing us about that. Uh, any other dietary uh, needs. Um, 
there's been like a couple of times where we've had to make sure certain medications get through. And as we get closer to the trip, we'll have meetings about that. But a lot of times it comes down to the type of food that uh, students will need. Uh, keep up on your EF website, checking out the tour details. And then of course, the biggest thing, getting excited for a great adventure. All right, so this is a passport page. We got to have them for all travelers. If you have not done it, I'm going to stress it again. If you have not done it, start the process of getting it. Uh, I inserted a hyperlink here, passport forms. If you click on that, that's going to take you right to uh, our State Department's page where it has a list of all the different types of forms that you would need. Uh, the place I've always gotten pictures is at the Floyd Treasure office. Those guys are doing it by appointment. So make sure you uh, make sure you call, get logged, uh, and get set up an appointment. They can get those on. Uh, you know, students, if you don't have a passport picture, Thursday and Friday, you guys aren't in school. Uh, and then that last bit, please log into EF. Make sure your information is the same. The accurate birth date, the name that's going to be on the passport has to be the same for that. Uh, all right, so I got to move this. All right. Uh, as I said about room arrangements, you can let me know if you have a spe specific request. I'm going to accommodate people as best I can. What's great about taking trips with students from Charles City, between me and the other chaperones, we know almost everybody and we know what will work and what will not work. Uh, if there's something where somebody's like, ah, I've been staying with this person for three nights in a row, come and tell me and we can work something out always and make sure people get moved around, all right? Uh, and as I stressed earlier, it's just where we sleep. The other times we're out, we're exploring, we're doing activities, seeing different sites, all of those great things. Once again, passport, passport, passport. I've only had one student and about the 200 odd some uh, kids who've gone on trips with me now that did not come because of a passport. So if you have not done it, please start it tomorrow have it be number one on your to-do list, uh, like before you even look at Google Classroom to see if you got any work. Uh, the meetings that we'll have as we get closer, um, we'll probably start about six, seven weeks out, uh, have a meeting about packing, uh, medication, um, different things to think about. We'll have a one a little bit sooner, uh, about three weeks then, where we talk about like the brass tacks of how we're getting uh, up to Minneapolis to fly, different things like that. And we'll just keep going on the tour and making sure things get ready to go. And then once again, why I like EF and why I think it's, it's, it's the needed, it's the best thing to do is they have tons of support. Uh, for Greece, Athens is, is the main office for EF. <coughs> and so we'll have a great system behind us so that uh, you guys, the students, I see Rebecca there and everybody else that will have the support that we need for all of your guys' as kids. And then thank you for that. That's just their bit. All right, I'm going to stop the share and then see if we got anything in the chat. We don't have anything in the chat. If we look at the, uh, at the agenda that I had, I'll just kind of go over that real quick. Uh, I know I'm, I'm skipping dinner myself. So I also realize I want to respect your guys' time. Yes, I'm done with the presentation. There we go. All right, so if we're looking at the agenda, um, I want to once to say again, passport, passport, passport. Uh, for the butter braids, uh, I apologize for the second thing, second fundraiser not happening in the spring. Mrs. Gomez and I had some ideas for that, but with COVID happening, it just didn't work out and it was new and it was different. 
Um, but the Butter Braids, they have a great system with an online store. Every student got two e emails from me yesterday about it. Um, if you are curious and you want to get on there, um, here is a link that we've added to it. Uh, and it makes the system just that little bit more COVID friendly and that we can keep going from there. Uh, back update uh, and for selling. The selling, you guys can start anytime you want and it'll end November 30th, which is, is also the information that's on that website. Uh, there's a video I sent them to about how to do that. Uh, and then our backup date is June 1st. But once again, we just gotta be as flexible as we can be and smart too. Um, you know, and to a degree, I'm gonna trust what COVID says, but to, a, not COVID, to a degree, I'm gonna trust what EF says, but in the same light, if it just starts to feel bad, we, I'll, I'll, I'll make a change and be like, hey, we're gonna, we think it's better to go June 1st. But our backup date is set. Um, you know, if you guys have any questions about that, you can send me an email, you can add it to uh, the chat room off to the side, and you know, I can answer it as best I can for you. Uh, feel free to give me a call too, and I can get anything taken care of. All right, does anybody have- Can we ask a question? Can I ask a question? Yep, uh, let me first answer one. Okay. How many total participants will be on the trip? Okay. We are at uh, 30 with the students and the chaperones. All right, and then if, Nancy, if you wanna go ahead and ask your question. Yes, yeah. okay, I'm gonna, I, cause I got the information for the passport long ago, but I didn't do it because I didn't know if we were gonna have this trip. So you have, because they're minors, like Avery's 17, we have to have one parent that has to come up here and be with her at the auditor's office. Gloria Carr does it. She does the passports. Okay, and the picture is, for, and so I have the information, I'm working on it, but I have to get her mother up here. I have to get a parent up here for her to get her passport. So that's right. what you run into. You have to have one parent, if they are a minor, helping you do this. So you've got these dates that are coming up like really close here, right? Yep. And the passports take from six to eight weeks to get them once we get it in. That's yes. what she told me. Yep, they, they, they do. Okay. And so that's why I wanted to stress, make sure that information on EF is gonna be what you fill out on the passport information. Oh, so I have that form. I have the form from Gloria and I'm filling it out. Yep. So, so, I can so if, if we get the, the EF information, the same as the form, then that six to eight weeks, let's say, you know, over Thanksgiving break, uh, Avery's parents are able to come. Then we get December, January, and we still have Enough February time. and the first week of March to as, as leeway. So Gloria is really helpful for people that want to go to the courthouse. A so absolutely. I'm going to call her tomorrow and just see if there's any way we can do it without having a parent there, if they can do it over the phone or not. But it, if you look at the form, it kind of says you must have one parent there. So that's what I'm... Uh, Nancy, you'll have to have a parent there. Uh, okay. You'll have, you'll have to fill out that form exactly. If you right. don't, they'll make you fill out a new one while you're there. Uh, it's not a... They're well, serious. I'll have to get her up However, there. if you do tell them the dates are traveling, they can make a priority to move it to the fast of the, to the front of the curve. But you need to do that pretty soon. Yeah, we're I'm going to try to get her to come up Monday. The issue is the COVID issue because mm -hmm. she's coming from Marion where the counts are high there. But yeah. that's what I'm going to have to try. It's her day off. I'm going to try to get her up here on Monday. But the COVID issue is an issue, you know. Good luck so with anyway. that. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just telling Good. you, we're working on it. But the reason I didn't do it was because of the fact we didn't know what was going to happen. I totally yeah. understand. And Mr. Keywell, thanks for uh, adding that in too. So who am I talking, who was I talking to just now? Uh, this is Kurt Keywell. Lewis oh. is bad. Yep. Oh, Lewis, yeah, I know him. Okay. Because mm -hmm. I used to be a substitute, so I know him. Yeah. 
Okay, I'll get I'll get her mother up here. Fantastic. Do we have any other questions that I could address for people? Okay, if not, uh, I will go ahead and close off the meeting. Uh, I'll stress, email me questions. Um, give me a call if you guys need to. I'll respond back to them as soon as I can. I got to be at school Thursday and Friday. So I will be more than happy to get keep talking to you guys. Thank you very much for organizing this. Much appreciated. No problem. And I'll have out the recording to everybody also in a little bit too. Thank you, Rob. Yep. Uh, Nancy, can I just ask you one quick question? Just you and, yes. you and me. Uh, how is Ava's <laughs> knee doing? Oh, well, she, she has to get an MRI or whatever, and she has to get permission from the insurance company to come. They think it's uh, not a torn. It's a... Uh, the other meniscus it's a meniscus okay you know so she might have to have surgery she might not have to but this person that she wrestled was highly ranked in the nation and she literally purposely landed on her knee really she took her down yes yeah, she really did she wanted to pin her and the ref said no you know she's got an injury we're letting her out Man. so isn't that interesting she can I walk without crutches but she can so she's been to two doctors now. All right. I, she's I know, a I great know. young lady. Yeah. I, <laughs> well, I, I hope she heals. Good. I, yeah. And it may not, it's not torn. It's it. There's no muscle damage. There's no bone damage, but it, whatever they call it, it's not the torn one. It's the other one. <laughs> okay. So we'll see after they do, after they do that. All right. What we have to do. So that should, should, she should be all right then by the time that they go on the trip. I, yeah, absolutely. I hope yeah. so. All right. Have a good yes. one, everybody. All right. Okay. Thank you. Yep. I'm going off. <laughs>